All right, so we're back with another video. Today, our main focus will be the back end of the car. As you know, that's where the majority of the damage is. What we want to do is remove the quarter glass, the rear glass, uh, bumper, tailgate, anything that's around the area, we want to get it removed. That way, we've got a good visual of what's the, what kind of damage we are working with. So what we're going to do is in strip the interior parts as well on the uh, offside, the uh, driver's rear side. So that way, we've got a good visual from the outside of the car and the inside of the car as well. Uh, so what we're going to do today is just get all the parts stripped off. Once we've done that, we can make notes of what parts we need. And that way, we can get the uh, donor quarter panel ordered. We can make a move on actually getting the new panel on and the old one off. So we're going to start removing the panels, but before we do that, we'll jack the back up, get, him, uh, get the rail and axle stands. Once that's done, we start getting the bumper off and the tailgate and the tires off. So I just realized before we actually get the back bumper off, we've got to remove the um, lower under tray, the carbon one. It's actually covering the back lip. You see right here, it's actually covering it. It's held on with the 12 mil bolts. Uh, so once they're off, and there's a few clips as well, once that's all off, then we can actually, actually start getting the back bumper off. Because right now it's actually stopping it. So we will start getting the bolts off now. So we got the tailgate off, we started removing all the wiring lean that's running along the quarter panel. You see right here, there's actually one more loom running along the bottom. You see I've disconnected that grommet from here. Yeah. It's still stuck from underneath. I think it's running just over the um, the heat shields. I reckon, it, I reckon it's running over the heat shield and it's connecting into the heat the exhaust flaps. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's. Is where's the flaps on these? I don't think do they flaps. even have flaps? No, they, they don't, don't have flaps. flaps. I'm not sure where that goes, but we'll leave that there for now. What we'll do is we'll get the wheel off and the wheel liner as well. You can see right here, the suspension. The arms are totally damaged. We'll get the wheel off, then we'll take from there. So we got the wheel off, we can start inspecting the damage on the inside of the suspension. You can see right here, it's totally snapped the arm. That's how bad the impact was. As well as the rear arm as well, the lower one. I'm not sure if you could pick it up on camera, it's totally snapped off. And this arm just snapped off the hub. 
Yeah. So they definitely need to be replaced. The, the shock actually looks straight. But we'll be replacing all that, uh, all the arms, the whole suspension basically on this side. And another thing, we might actually replace the disc because the disc might be warped. For some of you guys who don't know what a warped disc is, it's basically slightly bent. So when you're driving down the road and you're braking, you feel like a shake on the brake pedal. So that's what a warped uh, disc is, so you might need to replace that. For now, we'll leave that as it is. I will start working on the back quarter glass, start cutting that out. So while Z carries on stipping the uh, trims, what I'm going to do is uh, remove the driver's side seat that will give us easy access to the back of the car. Right, so I've taken off the driver's side seat. It was actually quite simple. It's just four bolts, two at the front, two at the back as well. And uh, it's just three wires that needed disconnecting. Now we've got the driver's side seat out. We've got a lot more room to work with. I've got a Z back here, just stripping the back uh, panels of the car. Uh, that way he's got easy access to the quarter panel uh, glass. So uh, now that he's got easy access to the quarter panel glass, he can get that out a lot quicker as well. So I've uh, taken the back seats out, the panels out as well. So I think there's one more panel here. We also need to drop the roof lining as well. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, it would make our job easier to drop the roof lining. We do need to replace the curtain airbag as well. Yeah. So it is best if we remove it now. Regardless, we'll have to strip it anyway because when we put that quarter, uh, that quarter the on. The new quarter on, yeah, you yeah. do need to do it, yeah. That would be easier. Because so, we're welding from the top to put that joint on. There's yeah. a joint on the top. Uh, we'll have to weld around it so we so don't want to burn that. So definitely remove that then. So, then. so I think once you've done that, think once you've removed the quarter, uh, the quarter glass and the rear glass, we can just take this out from the back, aren't we? Yeah, what we'll do is we'll cut the back screen out so we don't want to crease the roof lining. Yeah, we'll that remove That way just slide straight out. Yeah. Like what we did in the uh, M4. Yeah. Sort of well, on the M4, we've done the front windscreen. Yeah. That obviously needs replacing, so we've done it through the front. But this one, the back screen has to come out anyway for the rear quarter. It'll be easier to get the uh, roof lining out, so we don't need to. Yeah, because if one you out. take out this way, you literally have to bend it. We don't increase the roof lining as well. Yeah, so we'll get cracking now. Right, just so we don't use bolts, we are bagging up all the bolts so we know uh, which ones go where. So this is the seat bolts, we've got four of them. That way we don't lose bolts and when it comes to sending the car back together, we know where all the bolts are and where they go as well. So I'm going to be removing the drive side door now. And as you can see, the interior plastics from the door are actually fine. So I'm going to basically reuse these on the next door. And so instead of buying a complete door, I'm just going to buy the shell of the door and reuse all these uh, interior plastics on the next door. That will save ourselves a lot of money as well. So yeah, it's just a couple of bolts I need to remove and basically unplug the uh, wiring as well. Once I've done that, the door should come out straight away. So there you have it guys, a lot of the parts have been removed now, there's still a bit left on the inside, we're going to leave that for now. Uh, I just wanted to show you a quick thing, the rear quarter joints right here, you can see there's like a seal on it, you'll see it better on the underneath one. And we'll have to basically uh, drill all these spot welds out, going all the way along here and down here, and that's 
where the actual uh, joint is. You can see the spots right here. Once you do that, we can peel that all back. It's good thinking on this side because a lot of the cars that you get, you have to basically cut into the metal and put a butt joint in. Uh, whereas this side, they've actually made it like different sections for different panels. And you can see right here, there's another section going along here. So that's good thinking. I like that. Yeah, as well as that, guys, if you look down here, you'll see that there's a massive uh, dent. Uh, we didn't really see this until we took the skirt off. So we're hoping to basically replace or just fix the same uh, piece here. Because it's not as bad as it looks if you think about it. If you look down here, you'll see it, it doesn't go that far back. And it is just a piece that sticks out. So we are hoping to repair that same piece. And if you look here, you'll see that this is cracked. This is basically one of the jacking points of the car. So we'd have to uh, basically undo this and put a new one in. So that should be quite a simple repair. That might take a bit of time to get that right. But we're hoping to get that repaired. So yeah, we're gonna call it a night for this video, guys. We've done a fair bit of work and it is getting quite late. This is just an extra video for you guys, just a Wednesday upload. We don't normally upload on a Wednesday. You guys will get your Saturday upload as well. So we're gonna call it a night for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next GTR video.